ass. All right. I love to whip a gun on a horse's ass. I love to rock it real hard. Yeah. I love to rock it all the way to Russia. 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 Clapsing. You're such a bad host, bro. Okay. Clap sync. All right. Hello. Welcome to the Up to No Good podcast, episode two. I am your host, Jonathan Leon. My co host, Christian Charnay. You can say my own this name, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my special guest, Sean Lagunde. Met him at Tilly's. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, basically Sad Wizards, NBA Finals, and the new Kids See Ghost album. Um, so first off, I would like to say that, uh, everybody needs to go listen to the podcast. I know if you're watching the video, it's on YouTube right now. If you want to go listen to it, listen to it in the car, when you're taking a shower, uh, when in the car, when you're taking a shit, well, not in the car while you're taking a shower in the car, comma, while you're taking a shower, comma, while you're taking a shit, comma, the, best. the shits are the best. Shits are the best. Some people might want to take a shit in the shower if they have a big enough drain. Never heard of that before. I don't know. Um, anyway, man, shit happens. I'd also love for you to listen to our voices while you're shitting. Yes, just like thinking about you guys. That's, listening. that's an unreal connection right there. Yeah, if if you guys really want to listen to us while you shit, then we know that we're doing. Honestly, I'd rather just be there while you're shitting, but. <laughs> all right so basically uh best three ways to listen to the podcast uh we're on apple music google play music and stitcher just look it up the up to no good podcast it should show up it's our little logo and everything it says sad wizards production um all right so let's get right down to it sad wizards basically uh we just started an instagram page the other day uh it's called sad wizards official look that up we're going to be posting all the latest information that you guys need to know just background stuff or like behind the scenes stuff uh if you guys have any comments or concerns or suggestions or anything feel free to like message us dm us we'll respond we'll we mess with you guys if you mess with us you know um we just released a new episode we're recording this today on saturday what's the date today uh, ninth. The ninth. Okay, yeah. new episode just came out. The finale to the Boo 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 series. Um. Somehow on our Instagram, we have more followers than we have subs. So. Hmm. Gotta change that. <laughs> That's kind of strange. I I didn't even know that actually. Math doesn't add up. If it you doesn't. follow, you should subscribe. If you follow yeah, the literally. Instagram page, I would suggest subscribing to the YouTube channel. That's kind of strange. It might be because Marcos just followed a bunch of people. Shout out to all our fans in the Bay that just followed the Instagram page the other day. Uh, I'm going to get on following people from like Oak Grove and everything to, tonight. I feel like you're always maybe. busy, dude. And I you am. just have no, no time to... I have no time whatsoever. Banging boss moves, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm making moves. Anyways, uh, so the new episode today was Boo Boo Lubu finale. Uh, they bring me a little a little lunch. Uh, it was. It What's was, that supposed to mean, dude? <laughs> it was the best lunch I've ever received. I'm sorry. Thank you for bringing me that lunch. It <laughs> You're was welcome. amazing. It was beautiful. I'm glad you appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Thank you. But I think okay. What was your What was your favorite part of the episode? The episode. Probably when we were destroying your lunch just because we got to mess around and yeah, yeah. That was my favorite part. Of that was just, so yeah. Too. I swear, my Actually, favorite part was when Marcos is yeah. dancing. <laughs> that was my favorite part when he got caught. He yeah. We, we couldn't stop like crying. Like when he was skipping and he said, <laughs> "That shit was hella funny." <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right. Um. So uh, after that, okay. Uh, upcoming Wednesday episode. Uh, so we're gonna start a new thing where we'll be playing like little short videos. Christian kind of started it uh, with your. We mentioned it in the first episode of the podcast. So your, I traveled two thousand forty miles to visit my girlfriend for prom. It'll be short stuff like that where it really doesn't have to do much with the Saturday sequences, but uh, it'll be it'll jump around. So like it won't have any order or anything. But uh, the one that we're gonna be posting on this Wednesday is uh, gameplay. What do we play? Uh, Fortnite. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, Fortnite lightning round. Fortnite lightning round. What does that mean? Because I okay, so when I was playing it with Micah and Kyle, I was really trying. I was like, let's play Fortnite lightning round, and they're like, what does that mean? <laughs> no, and I was dude, like, I don't know. I've never it done it before. No, basically, we called it lightning round because 
like we're just trying to play fast because we know no one's gonna watch those they're yeah. like 30 minutes yeah, yeah so yeah try making it like 15 minutes and we just go to like uh, just we just tilted every time. yeah just landed and tilted that's what they did i i didn't know i thought it was like lightning <laughs> rounds like tilt you want smoke that's what i'm saying you gotta, yeah if you want to tilt you want smoke yeah <laughs> i got my first kill though i'm still so proud my first round <laughs> next up, my is, first next up is first dub that's funny yeah, yeah dude i gotta practice or something um but anyway so yeah uh if you guys enjoy the gameplay and would like to see more of those then please feel free to comment let us know if you didn't then hey we'll stop and we'll think of something else to show you guys but i i thought it was pretty funny it was fun i enjoyed it yeah we're just cashing in the uh, <clears throat> fortnite because that's clickbait as hell clickbait we trying to get them ninja. views and subscribes and whatnot we're trying, we're trying to do the ninja numbers <laughs> she just sent a nude she did? No. <laughs> <laughs> My guy, don't be playing with me like that. I was like, I was like, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, after that, we wanted to talk about uh, next week's episode. What is next week's episode, Christian? Listen up, people. I think it's the. Is it the scary one? Is it the scary one? In did the you night? finish editing that one? No, I'm gonna. We I edited half of it, like the cinematic intro yeah i'm gonna redo it though because i want to do it on my mac so basically it's gonna be like a scary movie type feel it's gonna be like blair witch almost okay yeah like that's dope i like it'll be cool it'll be cool it's cinematic as fuck um it should look really nice though and we put a lot of time and effort into that episode definitely a lot of time we went to bed at like 6 a.m we started at like 1 a.m and then we had to finish it on that marcos was falling asleep yeah, While he we was like, recording. he was like in a pissy mood, dude. Mm -hmm. He was getting kind of cranky. We would just like tell him, he'd be like laying on the couch, he'd be like, and we'd be like, Marcos, did you hear that? And he's like, yes, gosh. And yes. then he would just, he would literally just wake up to do the scene and then just lay back he down on the couch too. like that. Yeah, yeah he's like well, true talent. He's, he was an actor. But when it's, he was it little, seemed like he wasn't doing. into it because he was so tired. So I was like, what's your problem, dude? What's your problem, dude? Every time Wait. we wake up, he's like, "Holy shit!" Dude. And then we had to, we had to finish, <laughs> we had to finish recording like the next day. Yeah. Cause I had to, that I had to go to, to work. Make it look the same. Two jobs. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that's good. I haven't edited it, so I don't really know what it's It'll look nice. looking like. It'll be cool. I think you guys will like it. It'll be, it'll be an experience to say the least. We're definitely trying to go like a more like because. Even though we have, like, the Saturday episodes and everything, we still want to get it to where we can do longer, like, short films and stuff like that. So we're just practicing right now, honestly, I feel like. Like, it's good that we're, imp like, we're using both styles, I feel like. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, we're working on both and still making it funny. Even though, like, it's cinematic and everything, there's still a couple of, like, jokes and stuff mm -hmm. in there because... I like doing this cinematic stuff because, like, you really put your best effort into that. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, I don't know what the are 40 something subscribers like better <laughs> yeah okay guys come on now how do we have more instagram followers than subscribers on youtube like wow. if you guys are following the instagram the dope shit is on the youtube go subscribe Literally. to the youtube channel i just said on the youtube on, on the youtube <laughs> what on, 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 <laughs> on the on the youtube on the twitter on the youtube on the youtube we get on the twitter on the snapchat hit me we up lost snap. two subs too it like still a, says 45 for me no we I went up to 45 but we lost two like wow yeah some cucks kind of some cucks, some cucks indeed, cucks, dude. dude. Some cucks indeed. It's all right. We love everybody. Those two subscribers. Except you guys, for you. If you guys find your yeah, way back you to too. us, we'll forgive you nah, and dude, you won't just, be cucks anymore. Just stay on. We'll let Actually, we'll no, allow you back, back but you're cucks come back. still. Yes, come <laughs> back. Like, you'll still be a cuck to us, but we love you it's for subscribing. It's a good thing. We, we all call each other cucks, and so I'm now you're getting called a cuck. You're a cuck. We're all cucks. It's okay. We're all cuck holding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next topic: NBA Finals. The last game was last night. Uh, Cavs got swept. Really depressing. Poor LeBron. What? Like, what else can you say? Like, <laughs> I just feel like so bad for the guy. Honestly, he played with a broken hand. Right. Contusion. Whatever. Yeah. Was it okay? What's the difference between a bone contusion? A and contusion. A I don't actually. Hand. I don't know. It's a contusion. A contusion is like a a, a a a bruise in your muscle or bone or something. I don't know. That's all I know. But it could it could have been broke. All I know is it must have hurt. 
Yeah, he was wearing, <laughs> yeah. like, a, like, a soft cast yeah. or something like that at the beginning. True, yeah. yeah and everyone's like, Whoa, what? Yeah, because yeah, then people the... are like, he said, oh, it's an excuse. I'm like, yeah. yeah I know. Like, what? I was like, that ain't I'm no like, excuse. No. Like, bro, just played with a broken hand. And he's, he still played good, though. So Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, he, I wouldn't, I probably would have punched that whiteboard, too, after JR did that shit. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I can't believe uh, that. He was like, he dude, was he was like, dude, shoot it. Like, oh, my God. Twitter where he, like, when the moment he realized he had a timeout, bro, I was like, damn. Yeah. He looks so sad. Oh, dude, it was like that three minute long like, video of yeah. just uncut like, footage. He was like, Yes, I felt and then he so said, bad. I, I legit started tearing up. Yeah, yeah. Dude, and then didn't they like it? not talk? They didn't like, yeah. didn't talk. There was a yeah, seat like, in between J.R. Smith like, and LeBron. And when LeBron found just, out, he because Ty Lue called the timeout, and then he was like, Wait, yeah. what? We had a timeout? I'd be so pissed. I felt so bad for him. Oh my and god. And I still love you, J.R., but you fucked up. <laughs> hardcore. <laughs> hardcore, dude. You gotta know, in that situation, at that level of play, in the NBA Finals, you have to know what the score is. Yeah. Like, in that clutch yeah. situation And to like do that, that when he's playing with LeBron, because, like, LeBron's always yelling at everyone. Yeah, like, he's such a good floor general. He's one of Facts. the best. Well, maybe not, like, Chris no, Paul. He's one of the best. Chris Paul's one of the best. Isn't he you? injured? Who? Chris Paul or not? Yeah, he was out. At the, honestly, if, if Chris Paul was in, that would have been way better. Of a, yeah, I still like. Phew, I probably would have been my money on the Warriors just because they're the Warriors. But mm-hmm. I don't know because every time the Rockets started falling apart, I think Chris Paul would have helped. He would have. He definitely would have. Him not being vastly. on the floor is huge. Yeah, for them. that was huge. Okay, all right. Next question: Where's LeBron going? Where is he Golden going? State. <laughs> no, if he goes to Golden dude. State, I'm not watching that. That make that make him look bad, dude. It's like I don't even like, watch it. I'm skin. But shit, everyone's saying Philly and Houston, but like Philly, that's like everyone's the same. Like him and Ben Simmons are the same player. Yeah, I don't work, know why. But I don't. I don't know. Like I don't know. I, I, shit, I would hope. I, yeah, I think Houston, but I think Houston too. I think Houston, at least sign like one year deal. LeBron, get that shit done. LeBron, Chris Paul, and James Harden on the same team. Some people think he wants to go to like the Lakers. Yeah, they say that because like he has a house and his kids. But yeah, I'm like, like yo, that's like going yeah. to the Cavs. Like, there's no help there. You know, yeah, no one got anybody. It's all the young players. They got Lonzo Ball. <laughs> Never <I> lost. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> Never lost. Um. All right. Uh. Next episode. Or not next episode. Next uh, question: The Golden State Warriors are favored to three peat next year. Uh, Will they do it? I mean, I, I wouldn't bet against it. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. I, I'm gonna say right here. I'm a, a Golden State hater. Like I hate their guts, but they're cold. Like I don't hate them. Like I hate the Patriots. I hate the Patriots with all my heart. The Warriors, they're just too damn good. They are. Dude. So I, I learned not to bet against them. Yeah, they're too damn good when you can have Steph scoring like eleven right. points in one game, and then you and he's like KD, in the whole game, he's not doing the anything. second best player in the NBA. There's, they're way too stacked. There's nobody. There's no other team that has a chance. Even next year, if LeBron goes to the Rockets, that would be interesting. Western Conference Finals. That just would just be like more year. interesting than the finals. Just like that was like this year. This year, the Western Conference Finals is basically the finals. I think. But yeah, like, true. Everybody was paying attention to the Rockets versus the Warriors because they knew if it was Warriors, Cavs, everybody yeah. knew the Warriors were going to win. Yeah. I don't think mm-hmm. anybody, even Cavs fans, were kind of hoping. What if, <laughs> do you think, like, if the Rockets made it instead of the Warriors? I think it would like, have been a series. I, I think, yeah. the, I think Le- the Cavs maybe would have won just because it's LeBron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I think LeBron could have messed. Like, with, I, LeBron definitely could have messed with the Rockets way more than he could do with the, the Warriors. The Warriors just. just there's too much. Yeah, they're too much for him to handle. And I just feel so bad for the guy. Like, seeing his eye all bloody and everything. Who did that Draymond? Here? Draymond put yeah. his fucking whole finger He in needs it. to know, like, he needs to learn, like, what like, is a foul. I see that like, picture. <laughs> it, was like, it, was like, it was like, to, to hear. Like, like, it was like, his his eye. knuckle was in his eye. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, damn. He was well, knuckle cucking. <laughs> he was knuckle cucking LeBron. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, LeBron got cucked of the... The final LeBron finals. got cucked, my guy. I was kind of sad when he took himself out at the end of the game too. Yeah, I like, was yeah, hoping. I was, yeah, I was hoping good. as like a, a little. I was hoping he was walk back to the the, uh, the locker room. He was gonna take off his jersey like he did last time before he left. Yeah. <laughs> did you guys see him dancing? Like, was that actually him? I don't it was know. like a sign that said free agency, and he was like dancing towards it. But I don't know if that was him. People oh, said I, it was him, but still funny. I'm a weak. Shit, probably. I don't know. <laughs> it was the one where he's like. And he's like in the yeah. hallway. Okay, yeah, that's like, that's, like, that's like an old video. I haven't oh, seen that. Video. Video. I haven't yeah. seen that. That's hilarious. He's like, he's hella funny. He's like crib walking. Yeah. <laughs> I have never seen that before. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Next topic kids see ghosts. So, <laughs> I know Sean is very excited to talk about this. Can you pull that up real quick? 
pull one up. The song list for. Oh yeah 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 for sure. Because I I was just listening to it. I yeah, look, yeah yeah yeah. Because I was editing. Oh yeah. All right, so Kitsy goes. It's only seven songs, 20, 23 minutes, but boy, is it good. Very 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 very, very good. I I still okay. Do you think? Because my dad even said this. He said he thought that uh, Kanye did a better job producing Daytona than he did Ye. Do you think he did a better job producing? Kids see goat. <laughs> Was my sister outside? Hell yeah. And <laughs> But yeah, uh, I the production uh, on Daytona was unreal. He mm-hmm. like low key stole the show from Push as a producer. Like yeah, damn. Push like did his thing, and then yay. Ah, it's hard because like I see what people are saying with the Kissy Ghost and Daytona beats being better, but like I don't know. I'm just such a stan, but like I'm not a, a, a biased stan, so I know if like. I, I just love it. I loved all three of them. But yeah. I would say, I would say, if I had to say, I'd say the beats are better, but they're all different. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're all so different, but I would agree. I, the I production on Daytona that. and Kissy Ghost blew me away. I'll say that. The production on those two albums blew me away more than the production on Ye. And I also feel like that could be because on Ye, he also has to focus on like mm-hmm. lyrics and everything yeah. too. Like there's way more that he has to do mm-hmm. for his own album than Even for somebody though, I else's. Think on Kissy like. Ghost, he was spinning way better oh, than he did on Ye. Yes, dude, he was spinning like actual <clears throat> bars. It was his so, verses. I was. It was them. so exciting. Um, what were your overall thoughts, Christian, of the Kissy Ghost album? That's this one. Yes, yeah, this one right here. Um, I didn't like the first two, but the last uh, five, starting with uh, the fourth dimension, yeah, because like the fourth dimension just sounds like do, is that the one where it's like like the thirties yep. intro or something? Exactly. I like love music from then, dude. Yeah, it reminds dude. me of Fallout. So yeah. I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. And then the rest of them are really good. But what they were just talking about uh, was a foreign language to me. I didn't even know <laughs> yeah, those were so albums or whatever. <laughs> Why? I think it'll be good for the audience to hear this anyways why i wanted both of you guys on this episode is because christian isn't as into this side of mm-hmm. or this realm yeah. of music and it's, it's not bad not it's it's just and so i thought it would be good to have like a little bit of yeah, rebuttal don't, yeah you don't, know don't. like honest ass to unbiased opinion yeah. and like you said yeah. bias a little bit yeah. because you just love yay so much you know yeah. all right um what were your favorite songs on kids he goes do you remember Probably the fourth dimension, just because the intro is really good, intro. and then the last one was that kind of like the alternative, like cutting montage. Yeah, like the track for it was like, like it was different than what I was expecting to hear from this. Mm. So yeah, I thought That's that was pretty cool. cool. Uh, on first listen, I was watching the live stream. First listen, Reborn took was took the cake as the yeah. best. Like that just grabbed me. But I then after it's too. been Saturday, so I listened all day yesterday, all day today. Cutting montage is taking over as my favorite. The Kanye verse on there is ridiculous. When he, and then his melody at the end when he was talking about like Lord, shine your light on me, I was just like, yeah, Bruh. like that shit. Like I said, almost brought me to tears today. Mm-hmm. But it didn't. But uh, it was great. And then like he says, fourth dimension, his favorite song. I say that's the best song. Like sample wise, beat wise, and lyrics wise, fourth dimension is the hardest song. But my favorite is Cutting Montage. Yeah. In the last one, Cutting Montage, doesn't he like come in and he like. St- well, how does he start off? Like, um, he says, does he? Is that the one where he says something about like I'll play his verse too? Volume. Oh, I've been hearing it for two days straight. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's he, the oh the cutting montage is the uh, Kurt Cobain sample. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's probably why I like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why you like it because it's Hell Kurt yeah. Cobain. I and didn't like, even and know like, that. And like Cudi loves Kurt Cobain. Like that's really his, his whole speeding bullet to heaven. Like he was. He made that because he thought when everyone he thought he was gonna be part of the Twenty Seven Club, you know the people Twenty Seven yeah. to kill himself or they yeah. die somehow. Mm-hmm. He was scared that he's gonna be a part of that, and that's why he made Speeding, Speeding Bullet to Heaven because he always wanted to to make a rock album. Yeah. And even though people shit on it, he didn't care because that's like probably his favorite album that he did. Cause yeah, because he, he just went out and did it like for himself, and it wasn't for anybody else but himself. I feel like exactly. honestly, that's why he loved it so much. Even though people can hate on that, exactly. that was. The one before Passion, Pain, and Demon Slain, yep. right? Yep. Yeah. So like, that's the one where people, when people talk about they got Cuddy, off cut. Mm-hmm. they got off cut. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I was not my favorite, but I, I like some songs off it because I appreciate. I like rock. That was my first yeah. genre I liked. So mm-hmm. like, I appreciate that. And yeah. then, 
with Cuddy is just he's so unique. That's why him and Kanye are, are still here ten their years, 10 plus so, fifteen their years later. Go so they're good so together. unique. And exactly, I've always these are my two favorite collabs. Like my favorite Kanye song is Gorgeous with him and Cuddy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like I've always wanted them to collab, and it's everything I thought it would be. Honestly, one of my favorite Cuddy songs is. Uh, Oh, okay. It, it's it's a it's honestly a tie between Make or Say and um Oh another one with, uh Yay or no? Yeah, it's another one with it's erase just me? Oh uh or, Yes, okay, Erase yeah. Me. That was one of the first uh Kid Cudi songs that I actually yeah. heard. And oh, yeah. I remember when I saw the music video for it. So the dope. first time I heard it and I watched it on repeat for the rest of the day until like my mom picked me up from my grandma's or wherever I was Such at honestly way. it was so good it was yeah classic. is Cuddy the the guy that Jeremiah Ellington or yes, he used to like try yes. and be him mm-hmm, yeah like he, he copied his sound dude so intensely and I didn't even realize that back then and then yeah. after listening yeah because I listened to Mr. Him. Ellington first because he like we knew him and it was like hecka cool and then i like i would like hear kid cuddy on the radio i'll be like that's mr ellington and then i'd <laughs> nah, like <bro>. that's <laughs> cuddy but him. yeah he hecka stole his sound honestly <laughs> um i'll yeah. try to find that cd for you and i'll show oh, it yeah. to you later because it was like this this teacher at bradshaw he was like a musician mm-hmm. low-key and he put out like an album and oh, everything no. uh who Mr. Ellington? Yeah. Oh, you were talking about him again? Yeah, Jai. Yeah, Jai. I'll try to find it for you, though. I'll Because I, I know I bought the CD. It's somewhere. Bet. It's oh, it's off of it. iTunes and everything. Yeah, it's on my iTunes. Okay. You still have it? It's on my old iTunes. It my, might be my downloaded parents on mine, it. honestly. But yeah, he hecka sounds like Kid Cudi, That's honestly. Like, he hecka sold the sound, but it worked, too. Like, mm-hmm. he, like it wasn't bad. It was, it was decent. They were, like, Christian songs, weren't they? Or not? Uh, he wasn't. He said he he didn't want to be known as a Christian rapper, but a rapper who was Christian. Like his songs weren't bad or anything. Like you and could he take, reference God a lot in like, them. Yeah, like you could take what you want from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not it wasn't like, like he was music. preaching. Lo- Loki like, like chance. Yes, yeah, kind of like yes, that. yes. Uh, a little less like. Like he does, he didn't curse or anything, yeah. and there was a lot more singing. But like how Chance is like, he's not a he's he, exactly. classified, he calls himself a Christian rapper, but he's not really like a full exactly. blown Christian like, rapper. In his like songs, in, he's not yeah. like every song. Yeah, like when you listen to Chance, you don't feel like you're, it's being pushed on you. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's okay. what that's why he's so good at it, and why he doesn't get hate for like yeah. being a Christian. And stuff. I know because I remember when my friend were talking. He was a. Uh, he was saying we believe that I mean I believe Chance is very rich or uh, very ritual, uh, very religious. Yeah. And he was saying that was a good business decision on him. And I said, I think a little bit is a business decision, but not totally. Like that, he believes everything. Yeah, he like says. he's not doing it just. But it as was a, a good like decision. that was a yeah. great way for him to go because now so many people like it just it took him to another spot. Yeah. That people really mess with it too, and that's hard to talk about religion and people still mess with you. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's because like area. if you if you pull that off and like retain all the, like the regular viewers you would have from that, you would yeah. also you would also get like or not you would, but like you also get like a whole new group, like yeah. people that wouldn't listen to that. Like mm-hmm. they're listening to it because of like mm-hmm. Christians. Really he gets good. people that wouldn't listen to old chants like yeah. acid rap chants, but yeah. they would listen. Yeah, yeah, and then they go back and appreciate the old songs. Yep. Still. Like even because he still talks, he still touches on it, but mm-hmm. just not as much. Exactly. Yeah. Like he really made that work for him. Oh, yeah. Um. Anyways, we gotta get back. We gotta get back to this kids see ghost stuff. Yeah. Uh, me and Sean were talking earlier about uh, a tour in the oh, future yes. a tour a, a tour a tour i like how you tour, say that tour, tour. a tour it's, it's tour i say tour whatever it sounded like you said tour a tour i say tour too even though that's like, really it's not how it's tour. supposed to be it's it's tour it's, it's tour, tour there's a you there's a you in there oh my god i don't yeah. care um but anyways i remember you telling me sean when you went to the Cuddy concert mm-hmm. in Sac. How oh, long ago was that? Was that, that last was year? November. November. Yeah, last year November. Didn't you say that he yeah. he said he was gonna bring Dre back with him? Hell yeah, because he was saying, "I love it here." He said, "What do you call it? I'm, I'm definitely coming back." And he said, or he said, "Cause he mentioned last time." Because last time he was here was when we were at uh, I was at uh, Arco and the, he brought Cuddy and Cuddy hadn't done a live performance. This is back he got he, no one knew he was at the hospital. Yeah. And that's when Kanye got all, cut it off and walked off. So he was like, last time I was out here, I was with uh, I was with Kanye and da, 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 da. And he said, next time I come out here, I'm gonna bring bring a big brother. And I was just like, yeah. And now <laughs> they have all of this work together that they can perform together. They definitely have to do Push's album first, and then Yay, nope, and then knows. and then Kid See Ghost. Yeah. Because all uh, three of them are on Kid See Ghost. The yeah. Push and Drake collab. <laughs> <laughs> Push and Drake. Collab. You were hiding a child. 
that shit, bro. That who Drake? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Did you hear about? I've that? I've seen memes of it, but like. Okay, so he. What's the name of the kid? Adonis. 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 Adonis is the name He's of the kid. Greek Adonis. Drake had a kid with a porn star. Softcore. Wait, softcore. 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 Like it's, amateur or like. Like, like probably am. I don't know. Like she's, she's like she's, she's, she's just like just like moving around, just getting hell? naked and shit. Yeah, Nothing crazy. And he's been like denying that that's like his kid. Actually, I mean, we don't know he's denying it. Cause that's the thing. No one really knows like if it's true or not. Has he said it? I think he not said anything it, about. He said anything about it. So it's like, and because he also could be like. That's you know, what makes it seem like he's trying to hide exactly. it. Exactly. That's like what Drake, does make it seem like Drake Bell. Because he low key could be like you know just. Painter, but yeah. That's like still that. But Push is saying is like that's not good enough. But that's not Push's. Like but, he's not acknowledging that that's his kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the crazy thing is they were saying was because the song's called the story of Adidon, because Drake signed with Adidas and his mm-hmm. his, so his line, his, his line was going to be right? Adi, Adidon. It was supposed to be for his son. So Push just fucked all that up. Yeah. <laughs> so did you know about that? Mm-mm. So crazy Drake shit. is getting a line with Adidas and it's going to be called Adidon. Yeah. And they're saying that. That is like a cover. Push is saying that that's like a cover up for. What's, was, no, that was Adonis? supposed to be his unveiling of his son. Like he was gonna. Unveil oh, him. really? Like, yeah. Adonis. Like, How old is yeah. his son? Like, Probably a baby. Yeah. Cause I remember it was like it was like a year ago, maybe two years ago. I remember like reports. I don't remember some, hearing about that. I, I'm I, not I, into. It was like stripper or porn star. I can't remember which one it was. N- now when I'm yeah. hearing about it, they're saying and porn star. Yeah. yeah. And I just remember it was one of those two, and they were saying that she was claiming she was pregnant, and then it just got swept under the rug. Like everyone was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then here we are. Cause yeah, I didn't hear about. <laughs> that for a while yeah. until freaking oh my if god he really wanted to sweep it under the rug drake should have came out as gay <laughs> yeah he should have just been like yeah i'm gay yeah because then everyone would be like oh, he's gay and it's they not his kid they wouldn't remember but yeah kid. it wouldn't be his kid and then he, they and wouldn't then, even remember that, yeah like, yeah they would have forgot about it the whole i was like uh the whole beef is who did that like kevin and spacey then, and then, drake i don't know if when he's gonna respond i really thought he was gonna respond i know he should have already i know drake like drake got some bars in him people doubt but Whoa, what I was the name of his comeback? Duffy, which was a great, Duffy freestyle. It was a great freestyle. It was so good. It People caught me off him. guard. I didn't expect him to come in. That yeah. definitely sounded like he sat down and wrote that. Yeah. Like he heard. I it. Mike asked if we're still recording. Uh. It's been like. We're almost done, honestly. Yeah. We're almost done. Um. So yeah, just tell him we're almost done, and he probably won't check make on, it. Check on okay, yeah. Kids see check sometimes. Okay, yeah, we're almost at thirty minutes, but that's okay because remember we said for the ones with special guests it'll be a little bit longer anyways yeah. because there's more stuff to talk about. For a minute too. Yeah, true. It'll get cut well, down true. and everything. Yeah. And yeah, and edit and everything yeah, like when that. Yeah, because we set the last one down. What? I thought it was only gonna be like it. yeah, because before we started cutting it down, it was at like. <laughs> 20 something minutes 25 or something and I thought we were gonna cut out like 10 minutes worth of audio for some reason and then it only cut out like 4 honestly so we got down to 21 minutes and it was such a nice you heard that too? I heard I think my camera just stopped recording alright I'll check it it'll it can just cut to yours oh did you hear that? nah kids see ghosts sometimes kids see ghosts sometimes I wonder how long it wasn't recording it just shut off why does it do that? After 20 minutes, I think. I'm gonna check mine too. Make sure it's. Like, I might on like silent shutter, so. Is it still recording? It says it has been stopped automatically. Well, how long ago did it stop? Damn. I don't fucking know. Alright, I'm gonna pause it. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Alright. I got a clap sync again. Yeah, clap sync. It's okay, we'll just cut out the All little right, section. All right, clap sync. All right, uh, so what was that last thing that we were talking about? Oh, yeah, the Duppy freestyle. Yeah, Drake and Pusha Beef. Do you think it'll, do you think Drake will come back before, uh, oh, well, I mean, it, before his album? No. Because he said he's an yeah, album. He's, he's waited this long. I don't think it's going to come. And then Jay Prince is talking about he shut it down. Yay, Pusha even said it's done. So Drake might put some shots on Scorpion, but... If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. It's whatever. It's kind of at this point. It's kind of like, damn. Like, this is gonna be a good beef. It, it started out hella hot. And, and my then... thing is like, people were killing Meek Mill when he didn't respond. I'm like, yo. Yeah. Well, I love Drake. Drake is ridiculous, ta- ridiculously talented. But come on now, you gotta say something back, especially after that. After that. I think he has to say something back. After that. I think he has he to say something back. 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 Really though. Maybe sometime in the future we can but, get like, I don't a collab, Drake, though. Drake's... Oh, shit. Maybe. 
Shit, oh, nah, like nah. I said, nah. nah, I don't think Pusha would be down P- Pusha, for it. Pusha, Pusha, no, Drake won't be down for it. You hear what he said about OEO 40? Well, how, yeah. How did this even start? Like? Uh-huh. How did the beef even start? From like heck of long ago, from Lil Wayne, because I guess Lil Wayne. It was Lil Wayne was doing an interview, and <laughs> that's how long ago. He still was. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Five tried to drop. Yep. He uh, his free. he was waiting for his contract to end with uh, Cash Money yeah, because yeah. Birdman was screwing him, and oh, it just Birdman. ended like yesterday, or two, two days, days ago, ago? Something like that. Something like that, and oh, now he's about to drop song. a new album. It's okay. It's okay. Michael loves Lil Wayne though, right? Yeah. Lil Wayne goes crazy. He does. Yeah. I can't wait for the new I album. Goat. Hopefully it's like old Wayne. Does he still skate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'll still be skating. Remember he when he skating. said he was going to retire? Yeah. To focus on his skating career? He was skating and no problems. Wow. No problems music video. I remember yeah. like back in the day he was getting like pretty good. Like he's just yeah, Lil Wayne is just a Lil Wayne is just Lil Wayne like, honestly. I'm going to be sad. Whatever. Like he, I want him to stop his lean but he ain't stopping it. He's done it for so long. Lean? Yeah he be sipping lean like <laughs> very bad. Very very bad. Jeez. Yeah he's had seizures and shit so it's like sad to say but I, I won't be surprised if you know, I'm gonna be hella sad. I know, me too. I think I might cry. Uh, well, I, we were talking about this the other day, like who we cry. I'm like, Kanye for sure crying. Lil Wayne for sure crying, bro. Like that's just ridiculous. If they died, I think I would have to shed some tears, bro. Um, I'm gonna God be locked damn. in my closet if Kanye died. <laughs> I'm gonna be calling you. I'll be like, hey, bro, where you at? Like, hey, you're I'm supposed to be at work four to eight thirty, bro. <laughs> I like, can't make it, bro. Can't God. Make it. All right. Uh, I think that just about wraps it up. We covered all the topics that we wanted to cover. We talked about the new Sad Wizards episode that just came out today. When uh, the podcast comes out on Monday, it'll be Saturday that the episode came out. Uh, And then you guys should look forward to the Wednesday episode. Let us know uh, if you liked it, if you messed with it, if you want to see more. Go follow the Instagram page. And when you follow the Instagram page... Subscribe yeah, sub. on hell, YouTube. Man. Subscribe sub, sub, on YouTube. The hell, man. Sub, 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 indeed. Um, all right. Sub. Leave comments. We like comments, and we will respond to them. We so. will. We love messing with the fans. It's great. It's like crazy because I don't think that people would actually mess with us, but people actually do mess no, with us. No, yeah. Like now, when I go places with people I used to know, they're like, "Nice YouTube," and I'm yeah, like, "That's so like, cool." Even like people at Bel Air, like, "Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I saw Sad Wizards." I'm just like, "Oh snap, dope. it's cool. That's it's like dope. it's coming up." I it's... know. I was pumped when you told me about this months ago, and then I was even more pumped. You told me I've been telling him for <laughs> so long. I'm like, "Bro, I'm gonna do a podcast. We're starting Sad Wizards." I've been updating him on everything every time I see him at work. So lit. It's yeah, crazy. Every week it got closer and closer, and now mm-hmm. we're here. And now, we're here. Mm-hmm. now it's actually happening. Yeah, we just gotta keep making them. So. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we already gave you guys the sneak peek of next week's episode. Uh, so yeah, I say we end it with a toast. Sean, thank you for being on the show. You already know. First for guest. Me. First guest. Well, thanks, dude. Yes. On a legendary podcast. When he told me about you, I thought you were a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know it's hilarious. <laughs> All my friends are like black. Yeah. And it's just... No, I was like, when I walked in, I was expecting to see a black guy. And I was like, when did you tell me he wasn't black? And I, was I like, don't think I ever said yeah, he was white. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hang out with That's the race. Great, I'm bro. just kidding. I actually hang out with everyone. Yeah. No, I see the race I at least hang out with is Asians because they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's probably because you're like half. Those, yeah, like, like they're, yeah, they're, they're like, nah, he ain't, ain't full. He ain't I'm going cool. to chill out before we get racist real quick. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's end it with the toast. Let's end it with the toast. All right. There we go. And then it will fade out. I was about to get racist.